All right, we're back for another portfolio project review. And this one is of Dominic's portfolio. So let's check it out. Uh, let me go ahead and just refresh for any initial animations. Uh, and I'm a software developer. Okay, cool, right to the point. Uh, what's What's this? Is that just like, is that just, what, what is that? Why, why do you have that line still there? Why didn't it disappear? I uh, don't think this line is relevant anymore, but if you removed it and shifted the text, that might be jarring. Um, you can do a little animation to restore the position of the text when you delete this. I don't know, that seems minor. It just seems like this is irrelevant. Uh, but I do like the lack of focus with the background, so the contrast isn't great here, especially with kind of just the white portions of the video. Um, yeah, I think all you did was really add a drop shadow. I mean, you can kind of read it, but the contrast isn't great. But you at least took the focus away from the background. Um, so that's that's something. Let me actually, I'm curious what the size of this background image is. Let's just, ooh, whoa. Okay. 4.7 megabytes of resources for a single page. That uh, feels heavy. Feels very heavy. It's probably like big, one is probably the animation, right? Yeah. Get out of here. Ooh. I bet you it's this. I bet you it's that. Man, that's so huge. Um, what happens if this doesn't load? Uh, let's check it out, actually. Wait, what am I doing? This is what I wanted. Fast 3G. Let's go ahead and refresh. Uh, that loads pretty quickly. Okay. Oh, I don't have auto caching turned here. Let's do this empty cache and reload. Actually, we're gonna do it with fast. I don't know if I have the auto caching disabled. That felt fast. Probably. Mm. Okay. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. I would see if you could optimize this image just a little bit more and get it below one megabyte. Um, okay, cool. Let's continue. Just want to check that out. Have your navigation here. Some tarot's probably goes to home. Home skills. That's cool. Okay. You keep that up there. I think this is. Man. It's a really hard. Just like this. On top of this background animation, where you have a light background, you have white text on top of a light background. It's hard to see. I almost. I wonder if I would start with the, the dark bar initially. But this is a nice touch. Uh, skills. Okay, so you're including some libraries. You're including some. You're including a lot of libraries. jQuery, Reactive Redux, Bootstrap, Semantic UI, Material. Okay, uh, this skills header is kind of bunched in, or bunched up with the the columns a little bit too closely. About me. I think, I think people should start experimenting with left aligning. Um, I mean, you could still kind of have your invisible container, but I think the left align, it just looks more, I don't know how to describe it. It looks more professional. And I think people are used to, when they break, people are used to going all the way to the, to the left side and expecting their letters to be lined up here and it becomes easier to read. 
Um, keep in mind, like, you have this scrollable background, so you can't really control the contrast as it scrolls along the image. This white isn't great against this green background, especially when it's a little bit lighter down here. It's, it's harder to read. Might consider like a, I don't know if a serif font would help, but it, it's really hard to have good contrast against these uh, uh, images for the backgrounds. Projects coming soon. Can you do anything with it or? Okay, so this tells me that I can, the, the little hand tells me that I can interact with this, but I can't, not really. I'm, I'm not even sure if I would put this on here. Why do you have this on here? Is this the same thing? What? Is this, oh. Companies desktop application, so it's a site, and this is the app. Okay. I don't, I don't, I would have this on here. I don't think coming soon is relevant to anyone. Um, I think like if you are talking with an employer, you might kind of bring up this current project you're working on. I don't. So might be able to create a conversation, but yeah, Ocelot. Project management app, which I created to be able to track. Um, okay, so I don't know how much I like these cards flipping like this. Um, I mean, the animation's quick, but I, okay, maybe it's the buttons that are bothering me. So these, the, the contrast is just awful with these buttons. Just awful. I, why is one green and one is white? I haven't clicked on any of them yet. View, I can't even read that. I'm like, view repo? Okay, so you open it in a new tab. That's good. View site. That's probably a Heroku app, okay. Okay, so I don't know why these buttons are so spread apart. I would improve the contrast. Uh, there are online contrast tools that allow you to put in like a background color and come up with a selection of good font colors that you're gonna put on top of that. Um, that could be used for text or just like, you could even try to get contrast ratings for different things like um, headers, paragraphs of text. Uh, like, there are online tools that can help you with this color contrast. I don't think, have, like, forcing the user to mouse all the way over to the other side for these buttons. Like, just put them together. Choose left or right. I think either one will be fine. I just think the space is unnecessary. Uh, freelancer jobs, you have no links on. Oh, wait. So, if you want to post. Project owner can. You, you need a live link. You need a live link to this. You need a GitHub repository. Uh, same thing with this, with the contrast. I feel like these are, I don't know how complex these projects are. I, why is it such like a natural reaction to like, want to still look at the image when I mouse over this? I think like typically people will uh, potentially pop up like a tabs of a live link in a GitHub repository at minimum. I think that's just personal. Uh, so I'm not going to go into getting rid of the image when you do this. But I, like the contrast is definitely a little bit better with the text. I mean, you've chosen a darker background, and I think this becomes more readable. And I, I think this is kind of readable. Uh, you have all of these close together. Very tiny. I think what it is, it's, it's very tiny text. In fact, I am super curious. Can I capture? I'm not going to stop the event. Um, yeah, this makes me feel like I can click on this, but I can't, but I would increase the text size. Um, yeah. Tweets. This, this just kind of looks like, uh, iframe is that what this is i 
gonna explore this. Yeah, it's just an iframe. What I would even do, and I think this is gonna be more impressive, like connect to the Twitch uh, API and and grab a feed of those tweets or grab a data structure of those tweets and and even post them out, like your most recent five tweets or something like that. I think that would be more impressive. Um, this iframe is just like short, it's hard to read and like it's a lot of content that you have to scroll through. Um, it it kind of just feels out of place. Like it doesn't feel like it provides enough value to even take the space up when it's this crammed. So I, I would connect to the API and just grab those tweets that way. Um, okay, cool, this is a mail to link, LinkedIn. Cool. GitHub, Twitter, all good projects about, I think your projects are gonna be more relevant than your skills in my opinion. So here's the thing, I kinda wanna go back to this. I, I think you have too many skills. For example, my, my assumption is when I only see like four working projects, one that I can't even click the link on, like it, it looks like you are making progress. You are learning, uh, you're building different types of projects. That's awesome. But I don't think your skills match up to that. I think people tend to just put a bunch of keywords down when really your experience shows you, you have kind of uh, less experience than what your skills are letting on, if that makes sense. Um, so, for example, you probably did use Material UI, you probably did use MongoDB. Uh, I, I don't think enough of these are, I don't know, what am I thinking? I think, like, if you're gonna put Node, uh, you know, you're most likely gonna use NPM or some sort of package manager. I don't think these are relevant. I think these are a waste of space. It just looks like a, a lot of text where your portfolio should speak to your skills. Um, like talk about, I mean, Node is good. Express is good. MySQL, MongoDB, it's like, you have all of these skills but only four projects to show. Did you really use all of these skills or did you just use them once? So here's, here's my thoughts with that. Let your skills shine with here. I don't think this section is as relevant. Um, and you're about me, maybe you could, maybe you could talk a little bit about like your focus, uh, what you enjoy. So this should also require me to create RESTful CRUD API using packages like Express to interact with it. Okay, so it looks like these are personal projects. Uh, responsive React UI, one is based off of wireframes. I mean, this is, this is obvious. Okay, so here are my thoughts. I'm, I'm kind of just giving you my raw feedback right now. And let me let me be much more constructive about this. So I kind of like this. It's very simple. I, I would experiment with a, a couple different things with being able to kind of just like what, think about like the information that employers are gonna care about when they first come to this. Um, it's, if, if you're trying to gain clients or you are gaining traffic through this website, I think I think like posting blog content or videos or some sort of content besides just a giant resume will be helpful. I have a feeling just looking at this portfolio that you are cold applying or you are applying to positions in general trying to get a software development position. So, do you need, it's like obviously you're a software developer, so you, you basically take up this entire container to say your name and that you're a software developer. Um, and then you kind of go into a bunch of keyword skills and then an about me that like I spent time creating responsive, like talk about talk about some of the projects you work if you can. Like I know I understand everyone's behind a contract, but talk about some of the interesting features you built. If it's a public facing website, you most likely should be able to kind of showcase some of the things you built. Um, it 
it. Look at your contract. Don't, don't take my word for that. But I think more relevant things are like problems you had to, to solve, like frameworks that you used. I think like talking about process details, I don't know how relevant that is. Like I, I had to convert wireframes into code. That's what every developer pretty much does. Um, create RESTful CRUD API using packages like Express to interact with our MySQL databases. I don't know, this, I, I think your projects need to be at the forefront. I think they need to be up here. I think they're more relevant than both of these sections. And I think your skills will shine for each particular project. So you could show the stack. I just, to me, this is just empty. Like you already have that information on these portfolio projects. This is just empty content taking up space. Um, so you can look at other creative ways to be able to display some of this information. But it, to me, this feels like filler. And I think what you need to do is create more projects to showcase. Um, I think that's what this portfolio is lacking right now. I like the green against this gray. I think that always looks good. Uh, it'd be kind of, well, it might be weird. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe a green highlight with these. Contact is the actual section. I think like you have all of the right pieces. I think the reason I'm kind of focused so much on these is because of the empty amount of projects in your portfolio. Um, I wonder, your LinkedIn is relevant. Um, I wonder if, I think what might be more relevant, if you have a lot of skills that you're bringing from a professional position and you've signed a contract that basically doesn't allow you to disclose some of the work that you've done or take ownership for some of the work that you've done. That's that's completely normal. Um, I think what I do is kind of, you could still, I mean, you could still talk about a lot of the, I'm not gonna go into like resume building tips, but you can talk a lot about the accomplishments, how you've how you made the company money or how you made a good chunk of the uh, code base or process more efficient. Um, numbers are helpful, but I think like bringing some of that experience that you would normally put on a resume, kind of with your, your bullet points underneath your professional position, I would kind of bring some of that into here. This, this just feels like an empty description that's not incredibly valuable. Um, so I would be curious to see what your resume looks like. But um, yeah, I, I would just look up like resume, example resumes for software engineers, and I would focus a little bit more of this text on that. Um, or I just get rid of both of these altogether and let these shine and show your, your stacks. You could even like put the skills that all of the projects uh, encompass above or below or something similar. Uh, but yeah, let's check out mobile. All right, I like it. I love hamburger menus. Man, that contrast. That text is super small. Um, this is what I wanted. I'm blind. I missed it. Okay, anyways, I guess that is 16 pixels. It must be the contrast that's throwing me off. But I think you can kind of see this poor contrast. I wonder if, like, this is relevant. I wonder, especially with the drop down with a hamburger menu, I would actually just start with the gray. Uh, what happens when you refresh on mobile? That animation is pretty cool. I almost would, like, almost would get rid of this once this is all typed out. Skills, that's fine. A little bit more spacing. You pretty much have equal spacing between your, your main header, um, your subheader and the content down here. So maybe, I don't know, more spacing here. Even a little more spacing here. You know what it is? I think you can keep these sections. I think, here. here's my thoughts. I think you can keep these sections. I think your portfolio project should 
be at the forefront of this, though. I think this is less relevant, and this is less relevant than your projects. Um, I would actually bring your projects up to the top. You can have skills underneath it. I think the About Me is very... It, like, it's not personal, and it doesn't really dive into professional achievements at all. Like, there's no value in what you're saying here. Um, so I think you either need to get personal, maybe, like, be silly, be yourself. Like, show some of your personality and your About Me to distinguish yourself. Um, I don't know, like a, like a weird quirk that's... Uh, a weird quirk about you when you're in the office that people tease you about. I, like, just something silly. Just something to catch their intention. Uh, I, I just think this is so generic. I think that's what the problem with this is. And so I think another thing that will help, like your projects are kind of, they're a little empty. You got to create more projects, but they're kind of dry in content, right? So um, maybe a little extra context. Like you can have a little potential new content area pop up it goes to a new page or something like that that kind of just goes over the problem that you were trying to solve with that project maybe some hurdles you had to overcome what you learned how you grew from it i think a little more context around this project uh for companies that's not because these look like applications and it looks like you weren't able to to really uh put any of your professional work on here i was trying to think of re like ways to to spice some of this up um, I mean, the photo looks really clean. The photo looks really clean. Yeah. All right, cool. So I think I went over everything I wanted to go over. I like it. I think you you have the right direct. I, I think, like, majority of the time you understand good contrast, especially in the footer, especially with your navigation. I mean, black on white is, is pretty hard to mess up, so I, I think that's fine, but you kind of like, it's just like empty islands. Maybe create cards out of this. Uh, you could even put icons next to these. It just looks like a, a wall of text. And it just looks like too much information. I think people are gonna skip over this because they're just gonna see all these skills and empty projects or like not enough projects and gonna be like, eh, how much does he really know some of this stuff? So it's not gonna tell him a whole lot. I think the stack here is super important. I'd work on more complex projects and be able to showcase that and provide more context with the projects. Um, and then we talked about the Twitter thing. I think it'd be really cool to be able to provide some, some tweets that you got from the Twitter API. I think that'd be really useful. And I noticed you got rid of that on mobile as well, right? Uh, it was just, you felt that it was irrelevant information and that's okay. In fact, I would probably agree with you. I don't even know if I'd include it. To be honest, I don't even know if this is relevant. I think you want to share kind of who you are as a person through your tweets. That's, they can go to your Twitter directly. To find, you know what? In fact, I would just get rid of this. I don't think this is relevant. Maybe if you had like an open source project or you had a community you were really active in. I think, I think freecodecamp.org is useful, but that, you just retweeted that. You know, so you didn't really highlight any tweets that got tons of engagement and um, showed tons of connections. So I just get rid of it. Other than that, looks pretty good. I think I would actually see some pretty... Uh, Pretty cool projects if I dove into these, but that's we kind of just do one project at a time, so feel free to submit others. But yeah, it's kind of my raw feedback on this uh, on this portfolio. So awesome job with it! I think I think you, I just want to see more projects on here, and really a lot of what I talked about is pretty minor. Like you pretty much have you have more content than what's needed, but you mostly have the sections of content that are probably going to be relevant. I think it's just tweaking the context of that content and like what thinking about the value that all these sections actually bring or just putting yourself in the shoes of an employer and uh, thinking about okay does this really you know does this really make you unique does this dive into your achievements of your professional experience like just asking those types of questions that an employer might be asking you know in his head when he's kind of looking through this so 
He or she. I keep saying he. Sorry, I always default to he. That's it. Awesome job with this.